My name is Bibi Bayless. I'd like to welcome you to the Museum of Robots opening night. The show is Robots and Donuts, and joining us is artist Eric Joyner. Eric, welcome to the Museum of Robots. It's uh, great to be here. Um, I want to ask you a few questions about your, uh, your Robots and Donuts art. You were working as an illustrator when you decided to become a gallery artist, and your first subjects were urban San Francisco landscapes, cartoon characters, and Japanese toy robots. What made you mm -hmm. decide to finally focus on robots? Um, well, I always uh, had a small collection, which got larger over the years. It started about 1981, um, going to flea markets and antique uh, fairs. And um, I, at the point when I decided to become a gallery artist, uh, my, theory, my <laughs> strategy was just uh, paint things that I like. And um, there's a lot of things I like, but uh, so I, I was branching out into different areas. The, the, I moved on to the cartoon paintings, and those were well, very well received. And I was uh, I sold all those at different conventions. And um, at the same time, I started doing the uh, still lifes of the robots. And uh, I did that for a couple of years, then I realized that they were kind of boring. So I uh, I added the donuts into the mix to uh, <clears throat> generate a little more interest. Was that, was that inspired over, over morning breakfast, or did, did you just <laughs> like donuts as, as objects? Were there a lot of donuts in your environment anyway? Yeah, well, not a, at the time, there was like three bakeries outside my studio, and um, I've always liked donuts, um, as long as I can re remember. So, And I figured, you know, I might as well just paint things I like, and that's how it came about, really. What's your favorite donut? Do you have a favorite donut to eat and a favorite donut to paint? Are they the same? Are they different? No, no. I, I, I think I actually just like your basic glaze the best, but uh, for painting, I like the, the little circular sprinkles on uh, kind of the uh, more dense uh, coffee-type donuts, you know those? <laughs> Cake, so, so a, a, oh, a little a, bit of frosting, like frosting, like white frosting, and then some sprinkles. Those those are the fun, fun ones to paint. So a frosted cake donut is, is, is the artist's choice. Yeah, yeah. So. Uh, in some of your work, or a lot of your work, at least what's showing at the Museum of Robots, donuts are quite central to the painting. But in others, there are robots and no donuts. How do you decide donut, no donut? Oh, that's, you know, I don't really make, it's not a conscious decision. It's it's just a feeling that I had. It's almost intuitive sometimes, you know. I I have some I vague idea in my head. And sometimes, you, you know, one or the other just isn't necessary. Because ultimately, ultimately, my goal is just to be uh, communicate ideas as an artist, and sometimes it, there's no reason to have uh, the donuts and robots together. So, in fact, one of your paintings, "What We Ought Not We Do," references uh, a 1924 canvas, a depiction of a Dempsey match. What was it about that particular painting that inspired you? And are there other works that you've referenced in your art? Oh yeah, sure. Um, well, the way that happened was uh, I, I sort of, I, unbeknownst to me, I gained some fame on the internet around 2003 as a robot guy, and um, I got an email from a stranger, this guy, a writer in Hollywood, who said, "Why don't you do Rock'em Sock'em Robots?" So I said, "Sure." When I started thinking about, well, what am I going to do with these toys? Uh, it occurred to me, you know, I've always loved that painting by uh, George Bellows, um, Dempsey and Furpo. So I just decided to uh, kind of mimic his composition to a certain extent with the guy going hit through the ropes and the crowd kind of getting out of the way. And um, so I, did, I just did that with the robots, and it worked out really well. I, a lot of your paintings have so much emotion. They're, they're, they're poignant or they're angry, but they really reference human emotions. Um, how, how do you how do you depict human emotions, or or am, is that left to the individual to to read into that? No, I think uh, I do it consciously. I, you know, I tried painting the robots f for a while, but it, you know, I think I just I'm really uh, interested in people, <laughs> even though I don't I don't paint any people. I think I like a lot of aspects of people, and I like you know we're very interesting with our emotions, and, and uh, though I try to just Paint, the, paint them as they are. I can't. I just have to inject the human qualities into them in order for me to really uh, have fun with the work. 
that answer your question right? It, it does. It, it, I, I don't know uh, that there was a right answer. That was a fabulous answer. So we'll, okay. we'll go with Good. it. And finally, in the war between robots and donuts, who would win? Well, that's a tough question. I don't think there ever really is a winner or a loser. It just goes, it goes, it goes in cycles back and forth, and uh, it, you could describe it as a never-ending struggle. So, and uh, <laughs> that's the way I envision it. I, I don't really. There is no. Uh, obviously, it hasn't been. No one really knows what's going to happen. So. Everybody well, can come to their own conclusions, you know. At least in any galaxy we know, there has been no official robot donut war, so we so we don't know how that works out. Exactly. We'll just yeah. have to wait. Eventually, I'm sure that scientists will discover a universe where this is taking place, but we just uh, have to so wait may, and see. There you go. So, so you're you're not just making this up. You're you you're quite possibly channeling that something that's happening somewhere else. <laughs> Uh, well, I wouldn't say I was channeling it. I guess subconsciously I could be. Who knows? <laughs> it's an interesting world. Thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, we, we love the show and appreciate you taking the time to talk with us at the Museum of Robots. This is B.B. Bayless. Thank you for joining us. Thanks. You're welcome.